They say the best weapon is one you never have to fire. I respectfully disagree. I prefer the weapon you only have to fire once. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be taking out Top Tier Russia. Now, this was partly requesting a poll. It was sort of like split 50-50. I know there was also the UK, but I'm probably going to do that for the next video. Although, if you have any ideas on what specific battle rating I should do, because I did forget to specify that in the poll, please do let me know. But no, Russia at the moment is in a really strong state in top tier. I think, other than Italy, they are like behind them with the second highest win rate. Last time I checked, it was around 70% win rate as Russia. So you know there is a bit of that classic Russian bias ongoing, but I'd mainly associate that with just player skill. I think you have people who play in top tier <laughs> want to try and play at their best with the best nation, and you obviously hear this over and over again with Russia being overpowered, things like that. But at the end of the day, I mean, their tanks aren't that strong if you know where to hit them. Like the T-90, every T-series tank has the same flaw, which is obviously the commander's hatch and just below where the driver's, driver's part is. But yeah, I think you just have more skilled players wanting to go and play Russia because they hear all these things. All the newer players, especially those who play the US, see the M1 Abrams go on sale. And the first thing they do is just buy that. And they only have one tank for, for the lineup, like, well, if you want to call 11.3 top tier as well. But yeah, they only have that one tank, so obviously go into a battle, die, and that's it. Yeah, they're back to the main menu. Hence why the loss rate is so high with US players because of that. But no, let's uh, let's get into it. I um, finally caved in and decided to remove the bushes, as many of you were very, well, what's the word for it? Critical uh, over the use of bushes. Pushing up through the center here. Can we catch some of them off guard, maybe? To the there goes one of them. There goes the second guy. There goes the third guy. We might be safe to cap the point. <laughs> HSTVL, goodbye. Another zone captured. We have the advantage. I'm gonna uh, reverse and try and go to the left. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that was close. That relic armor coming in clutch once again. One around this corner. Yep, he's gone. One behind. Ah, oh, nice. Got killed by a was it? <laughs> was it a H6? I don't know why my mind immediately went to GTA 5. And they got the B point back. Try and push over there. We try and do the same strategy as the last time, which is blank them on the B point. Hopefully that works again. Ah, unfortunate. That is an AA. Let's try and go to the left slightly. Go around them. Because they always look in the direction of the airfield. Oh god. <laughs> uh, I wasn't even looking. Uh, I just kind of shot in that direction and killed the guy anyway. I didn't even know if he was alive. Uh, that works, I guess. I'm really bad at spotting SPAs and helicopters. I'm terrible at it. And I only realize until they've killed me. Did see that one though. Hmm. Where is he gonna be? There's one. Ah, oh, he's a guy. He's alive, isn't he? Yes, he was alive. Who needs, who needs some um, hell? <laughs> oh, it's a Roland free. He is dead. Oh, that was a good run. Uh, that was a pretty good run in the K50, to be fair. 
Yeah, 10 kills. Not so bad for this game. All we have to do now is try and win it. Right in front of me. There goes his breach. Unfortunately, timing on that was not so great. LAB certainly saved him. We'll go for a backup. Got the LAV. Saw him. There we go. I think that is clear. Uh, I don't know why I thought that wasn't solid, but clearly it is. What is happening on the A point? Our uh, team just got annihilated over A. Slightly concerned since not many of them are spawning in. See you. There we go. Is he gonna he can still shoot? I think. No, he's dead. That A point is still heavily defended. We've got to break through somehow. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, we won anyway. That's fine. Nice. Um. Did not show me. I, I, I wanted to know how many kills I had in that game. See the battle report. Oh, uh, yeah, 14 kills. I, I think that is on par with my record. That was, yeah, that was a really good game. The um, biggest flaw with Russian tanks at top tier anyway are the reverse gear. The reverse gear is awful with this one only having a 6.8 mile per hour reverse speed. I mean, I don't want to talk about the C90 with its uh, 1.3 second reverse speed. It's just, yeah, it's not great. Critical hit. And he jade out. <laughs> that guy just didn't see me. <laughs> I think Oh, no, I'm not dead. <laughs> he is dead, though. Uh, yeah. Moped just a second too late there. Right, and we still have the T90. This thing definitely feels slightly more sluggish to use than the uh, BVM. The BVM, I still think, is the best uh, up here Russian tank. Yeah, anyway. Oh. I kind of... Oh, uh, PK, I thought our team would have had the left side covered, but possibly one of the most annoying vehicles in this game, the uh, K-50. See if we can get him. <laughs> yep. Good night. <laughs> now, we probably want to get that AA before he uh, sees him, but it looks like he's about to get behind that building. There we go. <laughs> this this is um this is just so scummy. <laughs> Although usually I do get shot down in like the first two minutes. Oh, speaking of which I can see an SPA is probably up. Where is he? There he is. Uh, he's, he's invulnerable for a minute. Although we are right above him, so I don't know if he can hit us. Probably can. <laughs> we, we were pushed our luck there. Kind of crazy how much of a difference this um, thing can make, though, the helicopter. Uh, this is a pretty powerful matchup, though, with uh, Germany and Russia. Well, there's only three of them left, so I'd, I'm not going to be guilty about um, spawn camping them. So, <laughs> do I do something rather stupid? I feel like I should. Yeah, <laughs> it paid off. <laughs> That's quite funny. Ah, someone was not happy with me. Yeah, that is top tier Russia. Still really powerful as per usual. I think the KA-52 is a game changer. If you can get this thing in the air and not get shot down in it, 
you are definitely more likely to win a match just from the amount of people you can take out <laughs> uh, when they haven't got any AA defending them is insane. But no, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Uh, next goal is 500 subscribers, so that would be perfect if we can get there within the next month or so. Maybe that's a bit ambitious. Two, three months, maybe. But yeah, thank you for the support, and I will see you in the next one.